everybody look at that gorgeous view over my shoulder is that not beautiful a washwoman here is fixing to hit the beach it is gorgeous it is in the 80s a breeze is blowing almost no humidity do you know how beautiful that is for Florida for the south so we're fixing to go down there and get under let me turn you around here get under some of those umbrellas right down there look at this water the Gulf of Mexico has the most beautiful beaches white white sand and look at that water all the different colors of aquamarine blue green going out not a cloud in the sky right now doesn't mean that it won't be later on so we're fixing to get down on the beach have an awesome time I got me some audible books to listen to and just gonna enjoy the day we'll be talking with y'all a little bit we're down here and it's gorgeous uh, the breeze is blowing okay these are parasailers that are motorized no way Jose that little motor goes out <laughs> this is new they normally don't have these on this beach which the noise is kind of annoying but beautiful 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 okay Amy Mae this is for you sweetie here's your beach I need to get down here closer so you can really enjoy it There's my BFF, Janice. This is from a friend in Oklahoma, Amy. Hi, Amy. Oh, she's a sweetie. You'd love her. Wish you were here. I know. Oh, girl, we'd be we'd be wild if she was down here. Okay, I gotta tell y'all this. <laughs> I'm trying to find a book on Audible to listen to, and so I told her I was like John Bevere's got some good books, and I was like, no, I think I want something else, and I went. Ooh, Nora Roberts, I don't need to listen to her. I'll be missing John. And she said, why are you listening to him? And I said, it's a her. And she said, Oral Roberts. <laughs> Amy, oh, hey, girl, you appreciate that. She goes and has lunch across from the Praying Hands sometimes. She'll take her lunch because she's up there close to Oral Roberts University. <laughs> so, no, not Oral Roberts. Because she's going to be shouting in the Holy Ghost to Oral Roberts on the beach. <laughs> Being the Holy Ghost on the beach. <laughs> I'm not. Or Roberts is dead. First of all. Oh, is he? Yes, his oh, son. He? Yeah, he's dead. But uh, he was my, my. He was my grandmother's favorite evangelist. I like Billy Graham. Oh, I like. But you know. And Franklin's the bomb. Yeah, Franklin's the bomb too. Mm -hmm. Jensen is my man, though. Everybody yes. knows Jensen's my man. T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes. Oh, they're my man. But I think I was gonna listen to Nora Roberts. <laughs> really, Oral Roberts. Was, She's just saying. <laughs> I'm not that super spiritual that I'm gonna <laughs> listen to Oral Roberts on the beach. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Because huh? he's fat. His boobs. <laughs> His moves. I didn't know what he was <laughs> Hey, the guy had. He had some man boobs. Hey, what are they he called? had at least these. Moobs. Moobs. Oh, those are man boobs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, hi, y'all. <laughs> we started this out interesting. We, we did. We did. If I hit him, I'm going to tear my car up. <laughs> um, we have had a wonderful day on the beach. No humidity, low 80s, breeze, awesome, awesome, awesome. And I know I did not listen to Oral Roberts. For those of you who might be out of country, he's an old time evangelist who used to be very popular, but he has Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And she thought I was gonna be listening. I told her he's dead. So anyway, so we're going to, the back porch down at Pier Park to eat and do a little shopping. You know, you may want to shop before, but I thought you were starving. I am starving. Let's eat first. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, I thought of a game that we're going to play. Oh, this is going to see how well, how long have we been very good friends? Since about 2003. 2003. Man, it's been that long. Yeah. Okay. We really do count it a blessing to be able to go yes. off together and, um, 
we get to stay at my son-in-law's father's condo and uh, it's just a blessing and um, this is the only really quality time and she has been so busy at work I told her the, the, I told her no I told her today I felt like I was being neglected her relationship has <laughs> suffered a little <laughs> between work and grandkids <laughs> but I'm gonna ask you a question we're just going to make these up as we go along, too, because I haven't even got a set of questions. But I'm going to ask you a question to see if you know it about me. Oh, great. And then you're going to ask me a question to see if I know it about you. Okay. Okay? Okay. You ready? Yeah. Uh, what hospital was I born at? Caraway. Yay! Yay! I'm going to see driving. <laughs> yeah, you're driving. Okay, your turn. What was my first car? Your first car? Well, y'all y'all weren't rich. So I don't think you had like a Camaro or anything no. like that. I'm going to say a Ford Pinto. <laughs> now, do I look like Pinto material? <laughs> Come on. And they all caught on fire. <laughs> oh, OMG. <laughs> No. Okay, not a, not a Ford Pinto. That was a joke. Thank goodness. Like a chance. <laughs> um, it was a Datsun. No. A Toyota Datsun. No. Do they even make Datsuns anymore? I they don't, so. do they? Yeah. Just That word just came up. Girl, What'd you have? I had something better than that. What'd you have? I had a 68 Chevy pickup. <laughs> with no power steering. And I might have weighed 100 pounds so I could pay it to turn the wheel. A 68... Chevy pickup. Chevy pickup. Went to Walker High School and parked at the end of the parking lot. We'd get there before anybody else did so nobody would see me in it and sneak into school. <laughs> hey, it had wheels. Yeah, it did. You know how I got to school in, in high school? <laughs> I rode the yellow bus. Oh, Lord. Oh, yes, ma'am, I did. I rode the bus. I didn't have a car. I did until I turned 16. I didn't have a car. There was very few of us that had a car, actually. That's and like uh, abuse. Uh, I had a girlfriend that got a new car, I think when she turned 16 or maybe 17, and I would ride home with her sometimes, and I had another girl. I had another friend that had, do you remember the little midgets? Yes. Or, was it midgets? Yeah, I midgets. Me. Yeah. And it was so tiny, you know, two people could ride in it. But she would scare me literally to death. I just <laughs> knew we were going to be killed at any time. So, okay, my turn. Let's see. How old was I when I got my first kiss from a boy? My first real kiss from a boy? Fifteen. Was it? Susan? <laughs> Are you serious? Thirteen? Yes. Mama Love did not let you out. I was 12 years old. But you gotta think, at 12 years old, I was five foot eight. I had all my height. I got my height in the sixth grade going into the seventh grade. Five foot eight, I looked 15. And it was at Amanda Laird's house, and we played spin the bottle. And um, it was the preacher's son. <laughs> I figured that I knew something in the church. I knew. It was Chris McDuffie. Oh, 12. My I yes. couldn't spell kiss at 12. Oh, please. My mama made me wear those little bobby socks until I was 16 years old. No, you yes, didn't. She didn't. She wouldn't let me wear pantyhose. She was church of God, honey. You wore bobby socks? Bobby socks. Just, yes, it was awful. It was traumatic. That's horrible. Traumatic. I, I, yeah. I was a preacher's kid, and my dresses were longer than anybody's. Anybody's. The church of God girls' dresses were short. Mine were to my knees. Could you wear hose? Yeah. Wear my mama said that they turned a woman out from Dora Church of God for wearing bobby socks. <laughs> it might have been me when I was a kid. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. Ask about me, right? Mm hmm. Ask about I'm you. blonde. Not yeah. really, but whatever. <laughs> okay, you're going to know this. Okay. What is the name of the animal that I loved like my child? That is that is not hard. That is a cat. And what was its name? Oh, your first one? Mm hmm Oh. Not not first, but the one I loved like my child. Ollie. No, that's him now. <gasps> oh. Ollie Beautiful. Yeah, Ollie Beautiful. The one before. 
Why am I oh, 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 <laughs> I know that. Yeah, you did. He got real sick. He died. He's in heaven. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I can't even believe that I forget. Because he was a diabetic. Yes. And you took him to Atlanta. Took him to Atlanta for, yes. um, he had oh, a hypothyroidism. I, I forgot his name, Janice. CB. CB, yes. 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 15 okay. years old. 15 years old. That's right. She did. She took him to Atlanta because he was diabetic. Hey, that's right. CB. Okay, was my first pet a cat, a dog, a horse, a pig, or a goat? A dog. She's <laughs> in rice. It was a cat. We had okay. cats. We had cats. I'm not a dog. We had cats. We had cats. Okay. Um. I don't know this. I could. I mean. I don't know this about you. I'd have to figure it up. And you probably don't know it about me. How old was I when I got pregnant? Don't try to figure it up. Just guess. Oh, my gosh. How old was uh, I when I got pregnant? 23. Close. 24. 24. Had her February the 12th, and I turned 25 on February the 24th. Well, I can beat you on that one, okay? How old were you? I had three kids and a hysterectomy at 26. <laughs> did you really? Yes, I did. How old were you when you had uh, Jennifer? 20. 20. Okay. I had to wait 20, 22, and 26. Wow. You had a hysterectomy at 26? 26. Yep. Had wow. some complications Cancer? with Adam. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And he said I'd never be able to carry anymore. Really? So they wouldn't do that now. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't do that now. So, so. Hey, it was a blessing. Okay, we're fixing a chow down. I've got fried shrimp and mahi-mahi, a twice-baked potato and coleslaw. And you've got fried shrimp and fried scallops. What's Grandpa having for supper? Yee-haw! Yum-yum! Yum. That's right. We, we are fixing to chow down. It's going to be good. I want y'all to look at what Janice is looking at. That is sin in a case. Sin in a case. Oh my gosh. Huh? That maple walnut's good. Look at this place with ice cream. What are you gonna get, sister? Get some chocolate and some chocolate. Oh my gosh. Look at the strawberries. How beautiful. Those are gorgeous. Look at this. This is a German chocolate place, by the way. Look at these shoes. These are made out of chocolate. Is that not adorable? Look what a way to propose to someone with chocolate. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's the ice cream line over there. I don't yeah. need the ice cream. Oh, I love pralines. I got pralines. Um, I want to get the toasted Let me see how much that, let's see how much that costs. What you getting? Toasted coconut chocolate chunk and German chocolate. Uh, hey, just tell them how the woman across the street thought I was. 50. 50? <laughs> she did? Because I've loved you forever. Woo! You look good. Why do I look so frazzled? Hold on. You put on your makeup again. You took, oh. Dear Gusty, you touched up your makeup, didn't you? Look at her. I didn't. <laughs> Can you tell? Can you also tell that I put mascara on my eyebrows and had to take it off? <laughs> we're Jeez. in. We're in for the night. <laughs> it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, right. We've been out clubbing. Yeah. But anyway. We feel like we've been big <laughs> with the club. I do. I feel like I've been. Hey, behind on shrimp. I'm not even going to tell you what all the excitement we've had tonight. It's not worth repeating. <laughs> we've had a good time. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.